Scientists have found Earth 2.0, and maybe we're not alone. I'm Bridget Carey. This is your CNET Update. NASA's Kepler Space Telescope has confirmed the existence of the first planet that's the most Earth-like we've found. It's orbiting around a star that's similar to our sun. Kepler found it by looking at the star and noticed a planet passing in front of it. And it looks to be in a habitable zone, meaning it's at the right distance from the star for liquid water to pool on the surface. The planet, named Kepler 452b, is basically Earth's older, bigger cousin. It's 60% larger in diameter to Earth. That means gravity is twice as strong, so perhaps if there were people on there, they'd be a little more short and stocky, pulled closer to the ground. A year there is 385 days, so they get an extra month than we do. We don't know what it looks like. These are all just artist renderings of what it could be because it's 1,400 light years away. Let me put that in perspective. With our technology, it could take 20,000 years to travel one light year. So yeah, maybe we'll get there in 28 million years, give or take a day. And until we can hitch an Uber ride with warp drive to get there, We'll just have to speculate, which brings me to the next story. Both Uber and Lyft are making headlines as more people are turning to these apps in major cities when they need a ride. Lyft is a distant second place to Uber in terms of size and users, but it has a new perk that could draw in more customers. Ordering a car pickup from Lyft can earn you points to buy free coffee at Starbucks. And you can also tip your driver with Starbucks points, which can be redeemed for food or drinks. Lyft is a three-year-old service now in 65 cities across the U.S. And you may know them as the cars with the pink mustaches. Similar to how Uber works, anyone can sign up to be a driver to earn some extra cash. And customers use the app to request a nearby driver to give them a ride. The Starbucks partnership with Lyft is pretty noteworthy. It's usually Uber that gets all the attention and scores the partnerships. And speaking of Uber, it just won a major battle against New York City Mayor. Mayor Bill de Blasio, at least for now. After Uber unleashed a massive marketing campaign attacking the mayor, the administration has made peace with Uber and is backing down from a proposal to put a cap on the amount of Uber cars that will be allowed to operate in the city. The bill would also have limited Lyft's growth. The point of the cap was to study traffic congestion in the city being caused by the surge of these cars working for ride-hailing apps. There are more Uber cars on the road in New York City than yellow taxis, which is more than 14 thousand. Now the mayor's office says it will do more studies before taking up the issue again and Uber says it will provide the mayor's office with data about its operations. That's it for this tech news update. There's more at CNET.com. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.